you get to visit your science fair because you had bubbling potions, and anytime there's things bubbling, I like that. Tell us what this is and what your project was. Well, I wanted to see which oil went in my homemade oil lamp, lava lamps worked the best. Good, so you ma oh, made a lava lamp, so you know that you could make it bubble. You're just trying different oils, like Wesson oil, and this is Crisco, and you had a generic oil. Show us the setup that you have here. Let me make this one. So th what's inside here? What's the yellow liquid? Well, the yellow liquid's generic oil. Generic oil, and okay. And then we put a little bit of water in. Good job. So you just tell me when to stop, and I shouldn't do any more water. And Stop. Okay, right there, good. And now tell me what the next part is. Well, we would take the food coloring. Okay, can I use red this time? Yes, okay, and good. we put 15 drops in. Okay, I learned this a long time ago. I'm going to tell you this. If 15 is good, 50 is awesome. I <laughs> learned that a long time ago from my boys. They taught me that. Is that going to be okay? Yeah. All right, so now what do we do? What's this part? Well, we put the Alka-Seltzer in. Okay, so this is just Alka-Seltzer, and so we drop it inside. Yeah. What ha Can I go? You, why um, don't you do those, and I'll do these. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's drop them in. Tell me what's going on when we drop them in. What's, what's happening? Well, the alka says, well, the, the oil and the water separate. Yeah. And the Alka-Seltzer makes the bubbles come up. Nice job. So this is a carbon Ooh. dioxide. So which oil was best? Um, they all pretty much were the same. Okay, so everybody at home can make a, a lava lamp. They're just going to use a generic oil, and you get this great bubbling kind of reaction. Mm -hmm. I love that. Come here, and let's talk to Bryce, okay? Fair enough. Nice job. This is going to keep going. Right? <laughs> Bryce Bonner, what grade are you in? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Who's your teacher? This is Reinhardt. Ms. Reinhardt, look over and say hi to her. She's hi, doing Reinhardt. a great job. I loved yours because you had a power tool and you had yes. oil, and that's the makings of a great experiment. What's going on? What are you testing? Well, I want to see which lubricant would make a wheel spin the longest. Okay. And I had found out after doing many tests that graphite powder was the winner. Yeah, graphite's the winner? Yes. So show me the test, because uh, I thought that was ingenious. Show everybody what you did. You, you put graphite powder in this one, nothing, oil, and, and yes. silicone. And then show me the test. So I would hold the wheel here for three seconds and let it spin. Good. And then see how long it would yes. spin. Do them all. Would you do all that? Right. So all of those, so there's nothing there at all, and this one was just oil. And then you had a really controlled situation because you did the same amount for each one mm -hmm. and then tested to see, and the winner is? Graphite powder. So this is what we need to be using. So I'm going to sneak out yep. to Mark Kobrick's car, yeah. right. and you just put a little bit there, and then yeah. it's just going to go and yeah. go and go. Right. That's absolutely right. What's the one thing that you learned by doing the science fair? What was the one takeaway that you'll always remember doing the science fair? Well, hmm, which hard question. Wait. Which lubricant is going to work? I would say I hope that you learned a sense of wonder. Did you learn that? Okay, look in the camera and say, I learned how to wonder. I learned how to wonder. I learned how to discover. I learned how to discover. And I had fun at nine noons. How's that? Yeah.